But Garvin, fireworks didn't just create problems for firefighters this 4th of July. The explosions were troubling for all those pets as well. And one San Jose animal shelter says it took in twice as many cats and dogs as usual. NBC Bay Area's Ian Cole explains the issue. And he was also there as one pet reunited with its owner. The pet drop-off area of the San Jose Animal Care Center is unfortunately busy today. Pets are being brought in that were found on the street. You know, July 5th, we definitely see an increase of animals that came in. The shelter usually gets about 25 pets a day during kitten season. Yesterday, it was 53 cats and dogs. Every year, fireworks around the 4th lead to nervous pets running away and not coming home. The shelter places a 72-hour hold on pets turned in before putting them up for adoption. It also posts their pictures on its website. Uh, they, they won't be able to see animals that are you know, at the shelter uh, and also animals that are also uh, available. Jose Marquez says his dog Lucky ran out of the family home on the 1st. He says fireworks were likely to blame because Lucky will escape sometimes, but always comes back. I just got worried. I was like, come on, how, how does this happen? He's been looking for a few days, but today found Lucky at the San Jose Animal Care Center. It was uh, chaos, huh? To find them, but thank God they, they got found there. Thank you. I was just happy that they were at least caught and safe inside. A shelter, nine the heat. The shelter says about 50% of dogs are reunited with their families, but only 2% of cats are, which is about the national average. It's reminding people as fireworks continue going off this week to microchip their pets and make sure they have some sort of ID in case they run away and are lucky enough to be found. In San Jose, Ian Cole, NBC Bay Area News.